Hey guys, Darcy here today, and I want to go over what are CPU and DSP resources, where do you see them in Luna, things you should consider, and what plugins even use them. Let's jump into it. All right, so what is DSP and CPU? If you don't know, but you probably know at least some of this, CPU is your central processing unit, the brain of your computer. So the basically the onboard chip of your computer that does all the processing. And DSP is your digital signal processing or processors. And that is the chip inside your universal audio hardware, whether it's an Apollo or, or whatever it is, that uh, is doing its processing, its brain, okay? So where do you find in Luna where you can see how much of each are being used. Well, down the bottom left, we have a couple of meters, right? Down here, we see our DSP, which if I also bring up uh, the UAD meter control, you can see that here as well, where we see how much DSP in just a little bit bigger. It's the same printout down here. And then on the left, we see a render, which right now is at 2%. I'm going to have to zoom in for this because it's hard to see. Um, but this is how much of the uh, CPU that you're using. Now, right now I'm using some DSP because I have my microphone that I'm plugged into that's, that's you know, making me sound the way that I sound. So that's why I'm using so much DSP right now, which is uh, looking like it is 17%. Okay, so let's take a look here. First off, uh, in Luna, things that use uh, CPU that are made by UAD are the tape and summing. So these are the Luna extensions. So if I put a oxide on here, we're going to use a little bit of CPU. If we look down at the bottom, we went from 2% to 4%, okay? And then if I put on a summing, so Neve summing, I'm now up to 7, 8% down here at the bottom. And then if I put the master tape on, I'm, no, nope, it's loading. I'm at about 11, 12%, okay? Um, now, I don't pay too much attention. I don't find these to use a ton over the time because if I duplicate my track, let's take a look here. We're going to duplicate this track. Um, we don't seem to jump as much in, in CPU usage. Uh, no, maybe it is about 1% to 2%. But I tend to use this on a ton of tracks, and it seems to optimize this pretty well when you use the same type of extension multiple times. Uh, it doesn't seem to always just keep jumping. And it will fluctuate as it's going. Different parts of the song will use more or less because of how much is processed at that time. Okay? Now, what types of things use DSP? Okay, so if we go and in make an insert and we use any of our universal audio plugins, these will use DSP. So if I were to put, say, an Antares like auto tuned real time, okay, now our, our DSP is going to jump from that 17% to 28% because this uses a lot. It just does, okay? Um, but if I put something like, uh, say, for instance, channel strip, the precision channel strip, then it doesn't use quite as much. It went from, what was it, 28% to 30%. It's so only 2%. Different plugins use different amounts, okay? Now, what uses CPU in here? Well, that's all of your AU plugins, basically audio units or plugins that are not made by Universal Audio. So if I were to click in here and say grab FabFilter Pro Q3, we bring that up, and we're still kind of sitting around 14 15%. These plugins by, or this one by FabFilter is actually really low on CPU usage and it's also an equalizer, so it tends not to use as much. Uh, now let's think of something that would use more. Let's grab the Valhalla uh, Vintage Verb because reverbs tend to use more uh, and it will jump up. Now if I were to hit play and everything should be muted so you're not going to hear anything. I'm just going to mute all the tracks because it's going to sound like a mess if I play this stuff. So if I were to hit play on this song, let's just make sure we're looped on something. So I hit play. Uh, let's see, are we going up or down? Oh, we have our automation running here. Uh, we're still sitting around, if we look down here at the bottom, between 11 and, and it was going up to 14, but now it's staying down at 11, okay? Um, and, you know, I'm having my, you know, messing with the mix here. And, you know, it's being used, so it seems to be all right. Um, now, if I put something like, uh, say, Waves Real Tune on here, 
obviously we do not want to hear what this is actually sounding like. It's going up a little bit, okay? Now let's put something that we know we'll use quite a lot. Let's go ozone nine. This tends to add latency. Oh, I cannot type ozone. And let's see what kind of CPU reduction this gives, okay? Didn't seem to jump, well, actually no, it jumped quite a bit, about 8%, okay? So you can get a sense here of what ha will happen. Now, when it comes down to trying to manage this stuff, things to think about is, do I have a UAD plugin that might replace my CPU if I'm using too much CPU, or vice versa? Do I have a CPU plugin that could help me reduce um, uh, my DSP usage so that I could, you know, replace something. So just if you have plugins that are similar, maybe you can pick and choose if you ever run into a limit on a song or getting really close to a limit. Well, what would happen, I'm just going to remove all of my plugins. And do, 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 remove all and remove all. So what will happen when you hit the limits? Well, when it comes to DSP, it'll just give you a warning that you're trying to put too much on and it won't let you do it. It'll stop you on that last plugin that you added that it'll go red and it will block you. But what happens with CPU? Well, with CPU, it can actually go over 100%, but you'll get a clipping sound or a glitchy sound in the playback. So that's where you have to back things off. So it just comes down to being smart um, and basically trying to save if you need it. Now, this will all depend on how performant your computer is and what kind of hard drive you're using. I actually have another video on that, so I'll put a link in the description for it so you can go check it out. But overall, it's going to come down to how much resources do you have in your computer and how do you go about using them. This is where it's beneficial to not use the one plugin too many times on too many tracks if you could use it on a bus. Anyways, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, leave me a comment or let me know what kind of follow-up questions you have and I'll be glad to get to them. Thank you and have a good day.